Hello everybody, welcome to another Let's Play of Long Live the Queen. My name is Anna Mardal. I think this is my ninth Let's Play of Long Live the Queen, or maybe tenth. <laughs> We've done a bunch of them. And um, can I just say, I'm amazed at how popular these have been. I'm very grateful for everyone who's, who's uh, subscribed. I'm excited that so many people have found these valuable and fun to listen to. I am planning to try to go through and see all the endings. There's a whole bunch of new Steam achievements that they've added in the last update and I want to try to get all those. Um, and several of you have offered to like email me playthroughs that you know have worked for you for getting some ending or another which uh, by all means yes send those in um do let me know how you'd like to be credited because I, you know i feel like if you did all the work of figuring out how to get from point a to point b that you should get <laughs> some hat tips in the actual video that that hopefully i can I can make of the playthrough. Um, I do also kind of sort of intend to maybe start Let's Playing a few other games on top of this one. I actually play lots of games and this was just my first Let's Play run of something and uh, so hopefully if those start appearing in the feed those will be nice and not like super scary <laughs> for everyone but it doesn't mean that I've stopped doing Long Live the Queen. So today's playthrough um, we had so much fun doing um, Elodie and, uh, uh, oh my gosh, I can't even remember her name now, the, the green hair girl that we hook up with, Brienne, uh, Elodie and Brienne last time, that uh, I had one more Let's Play uh, path that I had worked out last year that was Elodie and Bryn. Now we've, we've hooked up with Bryn before, but it was always with uh, Banyan as sort of a, a happy little triad threesome and this time I wanted to just uh, hook up with Bryn so that's the ending here it's also it's a pink angel walkthrough we we, we defeat Sanjia with the awesome power of uh, singing and uh, diplomacy which personally is kind of my favorite because I, I just I really like that ending it's it's so rare in my experience to see a, a situation in any kind of fantasy game or fantasy novel or fantasy fantasy uh, where things are solved by exceedingly clever diplomacy as opposed to you know like being the best magic user or being the best swords person not that those are bad things I, I like those things too I just it's so nice to see something solved by sitting someone down and saying, dude, <laughs> what is this getting you? How can we get you the things that you want to get maybe via a path that everyone can be happy with and live with? And, and so I really like the pink angel ending. So, uh, but this is a pink angel ending. Uh, we do end up with Bryn and also because I, you know, I was just looking for new content when I did this because my LED in this playthrough does not become a lumen at all. Uh, this is an ending with increased prejudice against lumens. I have yet to get the ending where everybody loves lumens and the little kids all pretend to be lumens. I know it exists. Uh, maybe somebody can send me that one too. Uh, I think, and I also need to do an ending where Elodie defeats the King of Sanjia in a duel that is magical and takes advantage of her swords personship because I don't think I've done that one either um so but those are for other ones I'm just telling you what's in this one <laughs> and that was like a five minute introduction I'm sorry that took so long let's start the game oh and I should add that since this one was worked out before all the new content uh I don't know that it should have the same ending but we've been through a couple that worked out before the new content and they worked and the only big difference was the taxes issue and so so we'll save that and we'll see how badly it screws us up so this is our father Joslyn King Dowager Duke of Caloris <laughs> and wow he's 33 oh my god isn't 
Banyan 31? So wow, when she says he's old enough to be her father, she literally means he is my father's in my father's age peer group. <laughs> I had not noticed that before, or if I did, I've forgotten. This is you, this is Elodie. Um our job is to keep her alive to the end of the game. She's 14 and she's she's got 40 weeks to turn 15. Ah, oh, <laughs> it all looks so familiar. So we're going to say, I've played this before. And so we're going to save the game. Long live the queen one. And well, it's week zero. I should have named it zero, but it's fine. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to dive right into learning instrument so that we can learn voice for our pink angel ending. We've got a plus one on expression for being depressed, so no time like the present. You tap out chiming dyads on a glockenspiel. <laughs> Is that the same as a metronome? I'm not, I'm, I'm showing my instrumentation uh, uh, unawareness here. Ignorance, that's the word I want. You learn to play notes and scales on a recorder and you practice with the recorder learning to recognize tunes that you hear and replicate them. And since we passed 25, we can, I don't know that we'll have any more instrumentation. What's all the noise out here? It's my cousins, my aunt and uncle, my evil aunt, which, oh, we're totally going to um, have her executed in the epilogue, so that'll be, um, and Lawrence, which, oh, I had, I always mean to, to pull this up whenever, <laughs> whenever I go through, just so everyone can see, and uh, I always end up forgetting. There's Laurent. There's Charlotte with her big scary red eyes. Uh, Lottie, I haven't seen you in ages. Will you be staying long? Mommy said we'd be here all month and we got a cheerful. Which usually I'm so happy to see that. And now I'm like, no, don't mess with my depression since we're trying to learn voice. <laughs> uh, let's see. We're going to go to court sessions in order to keep that depression up. It's funny, because usually I'm trying so hard to get rid of that. So in week two... Oh good, our, our, we get an extra bonus because we've already learned so 30 instrument, 0.3, uh, and 0.03. Uh, we are going to go for voice. We're just going to get all those skills out of the way early. You practice deep breathing exercises. You learn the differences in resonance between the chest, the head, and the nose. You learn about different vocal ranges from, <laughs> from profound bass to the rare, wow, let's see if I can say this, coloratura soprano. <laughs> Someone's gonna correct me in the comments. What's that commotion outside? Father, what's going on? This is Juliana, Duchess of Ursul. I've come to pay my respects in honor of your mother. Dad isn't happy about this. It's because of your powers that my wife is away, or is dead. <laughs> your line has been traitors for 200 years. And so we're going to arrest her. You are a traitor to the crown, and I ought to have you executed. Guards, arrest her. I love the Elodie angry face. Throw her into the castle dungeons and let her rot. <laughs> well, I suppose she won't be a problem anymore. Which is in itself quite amusing because she will be. Um, let's go visit Charlotte. I love this room. It's so much bigger than mine back home. You should visit more often. It's awful that the only time I get to see you is something like this. Why haven't you come to school? My mother worries about me. She doesn't think anywhere but home is safe. I understand. I'm probably not going to be allowed to leave this castle until my birthday, but at least we can have fun here together. So, we are still depressed. There's our depressed face, and so we are still going to keep learning our expression skill. 
So we've got classes, decoration, and decoration so that we can get past this 25 barrier in order to keep moving voice up. So off we go. You discuss the nature of beauty. You practice sketching fruits and flowers. You study the theory of color. You have unlocked a new outfit. This is, here's Charlotte's playing in the garden. He loves me, he loves me not. Lottie, do you have a boyfriend? Not really, I just like to play with the flowers. She's 13, so she's, oh, look at her adorable little dress and her head is like so much bigger than her shoulders. Uh, me too. You gather your skirts and prepare to sit down when all of a sudden a hissing noise alerts you to a hidden danger, a snake. Charlotte, don't move. We don't have reflexes. You grab for a stick to push the snake away, but you lack the skills to do the job properly. And poking the, sti the snake only makes it angry. Too fast to see, it lunges forward and sinks its fangs into your leg. Ow! The snake slithers away, but it's too late now. A strange tingling sensation begins to spread through your flesh. That's a milk viper! They're poisonous! I don't feel good. Your leg is going numb. You stumble and fall to the ground. Hold on! Your cousin kneels beside you and presses her hands over the bite mark. The area throbs painfully, then begins to feel warm. After a minute, you're dizzy, but your leg isn't buzzing anymore, and even the wound has disappeared. How did you do that? I don't know how I do it. I just can. I'm not supposed to tell anybody. People think it's freaky. You won't tell, will you? Of course not. I'm just lucky you were here. Girls, what's going on out here? I heard yelling. Nothing. <laughs> we saw a snake, but it got away. So Lucille is the one who, who brought the snake. She's been, she's trying to murder us. Uh, and so, of course, she's <laughs> first on the scene. We're, we're going back to Mervitz, not safe here. <laughs> um... We're going to go visit our father, which we don't usually do at this junction. This may be the first time we all see this. I don't know if I've seen, shown it or not. Dad, what really happened to Mom? She was a lumen, a magic user. It was meant to be in reserve to defend our domain, but she insisted on... You don't need to hear that. <laughs> I hate that so much. Oh, she used magic. It drained her strength. She thought it was harmless, and it wasn't. Eventually, her heart just stopped. That's why I don't want you involved with it. So, there it is there. Uh, let's see. Oh, we have a new outfit. And this should be our, yes, our expression toga. Which, honestly, I really like. It's, <laughs> I don't know how congruous it is for the setting. I kind of picture showing up to court sessions like this. But it makes me smile. I like it. And it looks comfortable. So I'm totally in favor of that. Um, we are still depressed. So we are going to continue studying decoration. Which, it's funny. I talked already before about how much I like the pink angel ending. Because it's so rare to find an ending to a war or a battle that's diplomatic and, and talky. And I just, I like that in general. But I also kind of feel like these are... I, f I find the pink angel path emotionally satisfying because this feels like stuff a princess would be taught. I mean, I actually am totally in favor of fantastical worlds that don't have all of our baggage of sexism and 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 and, and, and a world where it's it's perfectly normal for a princess to learn uh, you know to be a, a spy master or a military strategist or whatever I think that part of the game is also awesome that you can learn those things and there's not any kind of push against oh but a princess can't do this or whatever but 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 at the same time I do like that these skills that people would probably be expecting her to learn for 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 girly reasons you know uh, uh to, to 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 be a good queen and to be a, a proper princess and you know all this finishing school stuff that that's the stuff that nets you the best ending because she turns around and uses that in a context that just ah i really like that okay sorry i'll shut up now <laughs> expression we're gonna keep learning decoration I can't remember why decoration import is important. I think it plays into one of those final checks for how um, authoritative you sound. 
You learn to mix paints and apply them to canvas. You study the art of floral design, seeing how the proper arrangement of flowers can affect the character of a room or an outdoor space. You experiment with wax and learn how to carve out patterns from larger wax blocks. I guess this is kind of like a sculpture, but with wax, so that's cool. Um, actually, that would be way cool because with like stone sculpture, if you take off too much, I think you're kind of in trouble. But with wax, I, I guess you could add more back on. I don't know. You experiment with fashion, trying on different outfits and watching others do the same. Learning how clothing can enhance or diminish certain physical features or give the impression of youth or age. Whew. The castle seems quieter with Charlotte and Emery and Zara and their parents gone. It's not empty though. We get more servants every day. Uh, we're going to go visit our dad again. Daddy? He sighs, rubbing his fingers over his forehead. What is it? I love you. <laughs> oh. I'm going to tear up again. I'm, I'm surprised that this game can still make me cry. He looks at you without speaking, and you begin to feel bad for bothering him with your silly feelings. Then he stands and puts his arms around you. I love you too. For this moment, you are safe and happy. So what's our mood? Our mood is yielding, which I, that's our, our yielding face, I guess. Um, and yielding gives us a boost to royal demeanor. So, ah, but not to conversation. And I actually have us doing conversation. Oh, because we're about to have the court manners check and I don't want to get engaged to, uh, I should save my game. I don't want to get engaged to Talarist. So we're going to study court manners and more court manners. You review the correct greetings for guests according to rank and want to extend your hand. And... As the person of highest rank within the domain, no one may sit at a formal event unless you give them permission. One of the maids approaches for your attention. There's Alice, which I've I've heard, I've read that Alice didn't used to have a face. It's like they keep adding stuff over time, which I think is cool. I'm I'm kind of sad that some of the old Let's Plays may be broken now. I'm not sure, but I am glad they add content. So this is Alice, who is who is 18. My lady, courtiers have arrived from the Duke of Sedna. We have no foreign intelligence or foreign affairs. We have a Duke of Sedna? <laughs> Look how happy she is. No, my lady, the Duchy of Sedna is in Tolais. They have brought you a letter and a gift. Condolences on the death of... Oh, what a beautiful necklace. There's our court manners. It might not be appropriate for me to wear a man's gift in public. People would think it meant something. So we're going to say, don't wear it. It is important to maintain the proper image. Of uh, services in the castle grove. Uh, so we're still yielding. Okay, we're gonna study some elegance. So we're gonna go with royal demeanor elegance and royal demeanor elegance. All the social skills, all of them. <laughs> You practice walking along a narrow rail. You practice standing and walking with books balanced on your head. You practice the elegant way to hold and sip from a teacup. That woman, the priestess, keeps staring at me. What do you want? Your destiny will find you, even if you run from it. You were born to wield the power of a lumen. <laughs> and, and it doesn't say, but she is... Juliana's girlfriend. What do you know about that? The power was your mother's and the kings and queens before her. It is your right and your responsibility to defend your domain. I have seen signs of the future. Danger is coming. Without that power, this land is defenseless. Well, what am I supposed to do about it? The Duchess of Ursul will teach you if you set her free. She never harmed your mother. They were friends. It is only because she bears the power of a lumen so openly that your father rejects her. Um, I'm going to say that we won't free her because I, I did say when we started that this was like a, a no lumen walkthrough. So we're going to, I won't free her. 
This is all a trick to get the traitor released. I won't listen to you. Which isn't actually necessarily wrong because I do think that uh, the priestess and Juliana are already involved at this point. So it, it, it's, it's not necessarily a trick, but it, it, it works in her um, favor, to obviously, to have her girlfriend released. Um, so we're... No, not going to do this. And, and we haven't visited Juliana. Um, I just see let's attend service. And bring down our depression okay so our mood is yielding our mood is <laughs> is very deep into yielding it will take a lot to bring us back out of that and um, we are going to study composure for our royal demeanor I'm not sure why we didn't just finish off voice while we had a these bonuses but I know we've got the feast of the, um, uh, the, the the gala ball coming up and so possibly probably I wanted to get some royal demeanor up for that um, doo -doo 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 -doo. where are my classes we want to study the phone is ringing hold on and we're back I'm sorry about that apparently I'd been selected for a free cruise for the Bahamas I'm sure you're all very excited for me <laughs> um, okay so we're gonna say royal demeanor composure composure and run this through you practice deep breathing exercises and you practice positive thinking maintaining a good self-image and conditioning yourself to carry on rather than be frustrated by any past misstep my gosh i need a lesson on that and you practice sitting calmly while your teacher <laughs> circles you and makes unexpected loud noises as you're walking up the stairs and me comes running down holding a towering pile of linen we have the elegance to gracefully step aside and let her pass you return to your rooms, but you have barely settled when someone knocks on your door. A visiting noble wishes to speak with you. At my door? Not at court? I, I guess it's different for 14-year-olds. Sigh, who is it? The Duke Consort of Mead. We don't have the internal affairs. If I remember right, he's the brother of the Duchess of Ursula. That part is true. I think the internal affairs would have told us that some more of his background. You follow your father downstairs to greet your guest. This is Juliana's brother, who is 38. And he's Brienne's father. Oh, and I think we may have already gotten the Steam achievement, but I believe this walkthrough gives us, grants us a, a, a royal couple getting divorced as a result of our actions, I think. Um, because his wife is the Duchess of Mead. He is just a Duke consort. He doesn't have a... a title of his own he's just married to the duchess of mead um and we're about to make him duke of ursula which means he has his own title and his own power and he doesn't need to rely on his wife anymore which from all the letters from Brienne, we know in the past that they fight a lot and so yeah your highness thank you for meeting with me in this difficult time i come to you on behalf of the people of ursula who have been left without a protector commoners require governance and leadership or they fall into chaos and i love how elegy just cuts right to the you want me to free your sister the duchess i wish for ursul to have a leader if my sister has displeased you then i stand willing to serve if you prefer juliana in that position then yes free her it is of course your decision so we're going to say give her a title to ignatius fine then you can be duke of ursul on behalf of our people, I thank you for your wisdom. <laughs> now I can leave Juliana locked up forever and no one will care. Which is kind of sad. Um, I'm not, you guys have been with me through all these. I'm not a big Juliana fan. I don't think she should be locked up indefinitely. I certainly don't think commoners and, and other people should throw rotten fruit at her or whatever happens in the bad lumen end. Because I don't wish her any harm I just personally don't care for her partly because of the whole murder thing um, which I grant you Elodie isn't always <laughs> can't always claim a sleep, clean slate on that either but um, but I do think it's sad that her brother doesn't really care about freeing her and the only person that's really come to advocate for her is her girlfriend um, so that's sad yeah Okay, we're going to walk in the gardens. A walk in the fresh air helps you forget the burdens on your shoulders. 
and it looks like we're still yielding. I'm going to save. We are going to study presence. That'll get us past the 25 mark on that. And we'll unlock a new outfit. You practice wearing royal regalia and looking at yourself in a mirror. Young as you are, you are a queen of the blood. You are your mother's daughter and a force to be reckoned with. You stare at yourself in the mirror and practice, practice focusing and transmitting energy with only your eyes. You practice using different styles of breathing in order to feel more energetic. You have unlocked a new outfit. I, I wish you could put it on right then and there, because if you've got a check that's relevant in this, maybe they'll add that someday. There is a man here to see you. He wishes a crown funding. We don't have any of the necessary uh, trade and production to recognize that a printing press would be awesome. So I keep meaning to go back through and, and do one of those, especially now that there's a new check later for uh, trade with regards to the chocolates. But uh, we are going to walk in the gardens again. I'm trying to, am I trying to get the little moon cheerful up? What am I doing? Oh, yes, very likely. Um, to get cheerful up higher than... If we get one more cheerful, then we'll be cheerful instead of yielding. And this is our royalty, our, our outfit, our coronet outfit um, that we got for, for pushing royal demeanor so high. We're going to study presence. You plant your feet in a strong stance, imagining that you are a tree. You practice focusing your attention on individuals as you pass. And you practice being aware of your environment, seeing everything as it transpires around you. You practice giving commands to the castle staff. As long as you believe it to be true, they will as well. You practice watching people and willing them to feel your gaze on them. Invariably, they will be drawn to you. This is Banyan, Duke of Marie, who is only two years younger than your dad uh, and brother of Bryn, Duchess of Hallis. Your Highness, my sympathies for your loss. Even after all these years, I sometimes forget that my own mother will never be coming back. So he is asking for aid for because of the Ixianite occupation of uh, the county of Ibrium. We don't have any foreign affairs to know that this is basically Bryn and Banyan's fault. Uh, and we don't know anything about the military. So she says, there must be a peaceful way to settle this. I will send for diplomats from Ixion and try to come to some arrangement. Thank you, your highness. If I may say so, you are looking particularly lovely this day. I hope you will think fondly of me. And he's almost as old as my father. I, 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 I think technically he's actually, yeah, he's two years ago. Okay, so I was confused as to which one was 31 and which one was 33. So yes, he is almost as old as my father. Uh, we're going to sneak out, I think, to counteract the yielding we just got. And now we're cheerful. And I'm going to do another save. So, oh, look at all that presence. We're going to study... Oh, the cheerful helped our conversation. Excellent. We're going to study public speaking. You practice tongue-twisting sequences of syllables to improve your enunciation. You take deep breaths and practice speaking loudly and clearly. You memorize lists and sonnets and then recite them for your teacher and any castle staff she could round up to serve as an audience. <laughs> the representative from Ixian is here. Be careful no one wants to give up prizes that they have won. You know, I feel a little bad now calling Jocelyn useless for all these Let's Play. If he's only 33, I mean, that's pretty old in this setting where we're going to have a 15 year old queen and, and it's he still is useless but he's only 33 he's ah oh, Jocelyn I'm sorry you have the job of King Dowager of Nova you have the full support of my sister and myself your highness and this is Bryn who we're going after in this playthrough and who is the same age as our father <laughs> let's just get this over with 
Your Royal Highness, thank you for granting me this audience. And we have no, what did we just, we, 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 we have no Novan history. Let bygones be gu bygones. We will forget about your unprovoked attacks on us, and you will transfer the rights to this little province. We can be good neighbors again without any lives being lost. So, ah, let's see, what are the options? Ew, I picked Surrender Province? I don't like that at all. And I don't need money later because we're going to win the Sanjia thing. Oh. Surrendering it will make, will make, will make, will make, um, Bryn angry, surely. Oh, I know sometimes I doubt my notes, but I'm going to offer him money instead of surrendering the province. We'll see if that bites us later. That is not acceptable. All land north of the river belongs to us. We are willing to offer some payment in exchange for the inconvenience you have suffered, but nothing more. That is a lot of money, and we don't have the logistics to say wars cost more. So we're going to say very well. Negotiating like this is stressful. Uh, we're going to sneak out again, and we should still be cheerful. We are going to study flattery to get us past that 25 gate. You learn that it's important to make eye contact. And you learn that flattering comments have the best impact when kept short. You learn that it's always better to compliment people for their personality and choices rather than their physical attributes, which is very true. There are reports that a key thong has been cited. We've all seen this. What's a key thong? It's a monster. We can't do anything about it. And this just depresses us. Everyone dies. Thank you, Dad. Uh, we are going to sit in on court sessions, which is going to make us yielding again. There we are. There's yielding. And now we have a bonus to... Hmm. I have us doing court manners again. Oh, because we're, we're actually not over the 25 gate. Um, I wonder if I really wanted yielding then. Ah, too late to fix it now. We're going to do court manners. You study rules for former dining. Unlock a new outfit. You study the traditions of ballroom etiquette. And you memorize the correct title for every servant in the castle. So you can treat them with respect. Which I think is awesome too. There's a woman here to see you. She wishes crown funding. This is for a hospital which we don't have the skills to understand is awesome. So that's a shame. Um... Hmm, I have in my notes that we attended services in the castle uh, grove. That's not available now, which means that our mood is off from what I had expected whenever we, um, probably because we didn't give up the, um, so if we do a load and I say, yep, surrender province. Oh, that made us depressed. Okay. So, <laughs> okay, I look forward to seeing you again. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, so what we actually should have is... I know that the next thing we're going to study is foreign intelligence. So I think what we most want is to probably bring the willful up. If we sneak out, then our mood will be lonely. Yuck. None of those are what I want. Mm-hmm. Let me pause for just a second and look up what helps foreign intelligence. Okay, so intrigue is helped by willful and penalized by lonely, afraid, and cheerful. 
So we don't want to be lonely, we don't want to be afraid, we don't want to be cheerful. So our options are to be angry, depressed, yielding, or pressured. Uh, let's go with willful would be best, but we can't get willful without becoming lonely. So let's go with um, yielding, depressed, pressured. Yuck. Who's going to throw off all my planning? I should have I should have double checked or surrendered the province like my note said, but I was dead set on being stubborn. This is a new outfit we locked unlocked from conversations with tea dress, which I don't really like very much. It I like the sweet little hair barrettes that are that are flowers and the hat's cool, but I, the dress doesn't do anything really for me. So we're gonna go back to Toga because why not? Um, we are going to study. I have foreign intelligence. Oh, I know why, because I think I know why. Hmm. I have foreign intelligence, so we're going to go with that. And I think it's because we have that trial coming up, although I don't know that our decisions made. The current Duke of Sedna is 26 years old and unmarried. The domain of Sanjia has been steadily increasing inside. Oh, yes, we need that later for Sanjia stuff. You are requested to stand in judgment. A woman has been convicted of attempted murder. This is Kevin, Earl of Io, who is also 33. Oh, my God, all the suitors in this game are so old. Um, I had pegged him as so much younger just because he's got all that temper and traumatizing backstory and, and such and, and so. Um, we've all seen this so many times and we don't have any of the necessary uh, checks to understand that there's way more going on here. So we're going to imprison her. You have tried to murder a noble of my domain and I have no reason to believe you wouldn't do it again. And so she rushes at us, and in our court dress we are unarmed. You grope for a weapon and find only a heavy golden ornament which you hurl. We don't have the archery to do any damage. So the guards step in and kill her, which is also sad. Okay, we are going to... We're going to sneak out of the castle. And our predominant mood is still yielding. We are going to study decoration to max that out and voice. I feel bad because I'm not sure that I'm maximizing the mood properly now that I've deviated slightly from my notes, but we'll get there. You practice all the techniques of needlework. You practice designing beautiful outfits from the first scrap of fabric to the last finishing touch of jewelry. You learn, this is voice, you learn the sol fa system, a way of expressing a tune. You practice standing in the correct posture and singing scales to improve your pitch and tone. As you are walking one day in the gardens, you look up to see an owl. We don't have any divination or falcons. And we're going to sneak out again. We're doing a lot of that. Uh, our current mood is lonely, which does not actually help expression. We're just getting a bonus because we have so much social already. Um, classes, we're going to take voice and voice. You walk, work through exercises and dynamics. You sing familiar songs in a choral. And this, this should have been maxed out and wasn't, I suspect, because my mood is all off. So we'll see if we can't get our mood back into line. You and your teacher practice singing in harmony. You practice singing canons, learning to maintain focus and timing on your own vocal part, even when others around you are singing something quite different. Remember that the Festival of the Good Lady is approaching. There will be public celebrations for the commoners. A grand ball. There will be dancing, which we have no skills in. You, as queen, you're expected to lead the procession, but you're not yet crowned, so it's not required. And think about whether anyone needs you any harm. And we have a letter from Brienne. 
I went to school with her, but she's a couple years older than me. Her mother is the Duchess of Mead. She's complaining that her mother still won't let her come home for the holidays. Apparently, her uncle Kevin has been acting strangely lately, lately and shouting at shadows. And here is, this is new because we gave Ignatius the um, title to Juliana's duchy. Her parents are fighting and she thinks they might split up. So, that's a thing. And stuff, which is helped by lonely, so that's why I have us still sneaking out. Um, but we're already lonely, so I'd actually rather just, and that would actually make us more willful than lonely. So let's just bring down our angry. That seems more sensible. We're still lonely. Good skills. We're gonna do conversation. We need public speaking, and I'm actually gonna put on the conversation dress because we're about to have a parade. So our public speaking is 45 with the dress. We're going to take two more public speakings. Okay. Your teacher asks you questions about made up nonsense, asks you to improvise answers. You read collections of famous historical speeches. You borrow the menu for an upcoming banquet and practice delivering it as a dramatic speech to an audience of confused chambermaids. You learn about debate techniques and practice them by trying to convince a castle gardener why a new fountain would be a good idea. Your teacher assigns you to create memories. I hope that the teachers are like going around explaining to the servants why you're using them as homework props because I feel bad for them otherwise. <laughs> I'm not getting paid enough for this, ma'am. Today is the procession and planting. We don't have any concerns about our safety, so we're gonna say, I will lead the parade and make a speech. I'm not afraid. I'm going to be the best parade leader ever. My little girl. You prepare your best gown for the occasion, then walk slowly through the town with your attendants. We have enough decoration, not so much elegance. You can tell from the excited murmurs around you that the people are impressed with your cleanly appearance. At the end of the route, you help the priestesses turn over the earth for a new tree to be planted. You hold up your hands and call for silence so that you can speak. Here's our public speaking, yes. My affectionate greetings to you all and my thanks, for it is the people that make this domain great. We are here today to celebrate the gifts of the good lady, the promise of fertility and new birth. Winter always comes, but winter is followed by spring. Each of us faces hardships, but we grow back stronger than ever. Now is the time for new beginnings and for my beginning as your queen. Your words are met with great applause. The procession regroups to return to the castle. And now bad things happen. All of a sudden, there is a faint rumbling noise under your feet. The newly planted tree in front of you quivers, and then out of nowhere, a spurt of water comes up from the ground, spattering you and the assembled crowd with droplets. Just as quickly as it began, it vanishes. The priestesses try to calm the crowds with talk of omens and natural eruptions, but they can't halt the whispers. Dark magic. The water tasted of salt. That night, the guards report that Juliana, the former Duchess of Ursula, has mysteriously vanished from her cell. And this is part of why I'm not a Juliana fan, because I'm pretty sure that she was able to vanish from her cell without disrupting this whole thing. So what was the point of that, except to make people more frightened of lumens? Like... It just, uh, it frustrates me sometimes, the decisions that she makes. Every time she uses magic, somebody dies or it, it, it causes a public spectacle that frightens people. And it's like, well, it's no wonder that, I, I don't know, I just, I have complicated feels. Everyone is suspected, but no one seems to know what happened. You ha now have an enemy on the loose. It just, it bothers me. I'm gonna go toward the dungeons to get the willful and the angry. I had us going to attend the service to get rid of unafraid, 
But if we get rid of one afraid, we'll still be one afraid because it, it hits first before the willful. Whereas if I do the plus one willful plus one angry, then we'll have the afraid here and we'll be uh, we'll be willful. So I think that's what I want. I'm gonna save just to be sure. Return. You sneak a peek at some of the luckless peasants. Seeing them miserable feels unfair. So now we are willful. And I'm gonna put on our coronet because we've got the dance coming up and I want good presents. Um, what am I doing? Internal affairs. Yes. Which is helped by willful. Classes. Internal affairs. Internal affairs. And I think we're doing this one to get the tip that Bryn prefers women. Until you have children of your own, your maternal uncle, the Duke of Merva, is next in line. Your maternal uncle's wife, the Countess of Nix, claims kinship to the old Merva line. The last Duke of Mead was the older half-brother of the current Duchess. His reign was brief and highly scandalous. Oh, well, I don't guess we did get that then. Hmm. Did I really want internal affairs? That was internal affairs, right? Yeah, okay. Dance time! All around, the rich and powerful pause in their activities to gaze upon you. Presents! You let your eyes rest upon each in turn as you have been taught, impressing upon them that you are not a child, but a queen. The first dance is for us. After this, you must choose your own partner. There are a number of men who will hope to catch your eye. You look around the room at all possible partners, which is to say everyone. No one may begin dancing until you do. You can pick whomever you want, and you will not be denied. Intrigue and court manners. No doubt every noble family with eligible sons have dreams of a royal wedding. Your choice will raise some hopes and dash others. Feuds could be born here. The Duke of Kegel has not yet named any of his sons as his official heir, but his second son, Linley, was always kind to you at school. If you wished to show favor to Kegel, Linley would be your choice. The Duchy of Elath is currently held in regency for its young lord Adair, who is only twelve and a head shorter than you are. Elath is a rich territory, and at least little Adair wouldn't try to take any liberties. Dancing with Banyan, the Duke of Marie, could be quite awkward if you did not actually wish to marry him. He has been waiting years for a powerful heiress to accept his suit. And I think he actually paid suit to Juliana, um, is something that we... Um, unlocked in one of the playthroughs. Not all nobles are created equal. You could choose someone charming and unimportant, like the Earl of Mima, a territory too minor for anyone to consider it a threat. However, the major families might eat him alive afterwards. If you wish to distract attention from your marital, marital prospects, you could choose someone clearly ineligible, one of your uncles or an older family man like the Earl of Ishtar, or even a woman, though that would be mildly scandalous. As a queen, few would dare comment about your choice of companions, but until you have provided an heir to the throne, there is great pressure on you to make an appropriate match. That doesn't mean you have to give in. Bryn, the Duchess of Helen, Hellas, is an attractive and unmarried woman. What might people think seeing the two of you together? Oh, and that internal affairs, I think, was the check that says that Bryn actually prefers women and was saying, you know, make sure you know what you're getting involved in here but ah we failed it that's frustrating the most important woman present after yourself is a reese duchess of lilla she is married elderly a mother and grandmother many times over but might be flattered by the acknowledgement of her status if you truly wanted to set the court on its ear you could demand your first dance with a mere servant a maid like alice the assembled nobles would be outraged so we're this is a brin playthrough Somebody has, I think, offered to send or is going to send the Alice playthrough, so by all means, send it. <laughs> I'll, I'll fit it in. But we're going we're gonna to dance with Bryn. You feel deliciously wicked at the expression of shock on her face, but it soon fades into something more ambiguous. Her hand in yours is warm, and too late you wonder if you're playing with fire. Dancing with a real partner feels quite different from dancing with your father, and I never have enough dance to... I think it's like 70 or something. It's a lot. Um, court manners, flattery, success. You interact comfortably with your peers, leaving a wise word in every ear. Okay, so this is going to be different. Um, in my notes, 
Because you remember, I actually had us giving up part of Bryn's lands. And I didn't do that because even though I think it still works out in the end, I have a playthrough where it walks out, works out in the end, uh, I, I, I feel like that giving it up as opposed to spending the money that I don't think we were going to use anyway uh, would, have, would have made the nobles less um, happy with us. So in the playthrough of my notes, uh, Banyan uses this opportunity to insult us and say, um, our boundaries are strong and secure, our land's well defended, no one would dare steal from us. And of course this is, you know, it even says, the blatant falseness of his words grates on your ears. He is challenging your honor in front of the entire assembly. And so at the time I'd had enough, I guess, flattery to say he wants to make me angry, he wants me to make a mistake. So we ignored it and pretend not to notice the concerned murmurs around you. Uh, and then the game just continued on. I don't think this should happen. He should be pleased with us. We spent money out of our treasury to save his butt. So <laughs> Banyan taps an elegant fingernail against the wine glass. If I may have your attention. Her words of wisdom guide us through our difficulties. Everyone applauds politely. So, okay, that passed without incident. Ah, oh, so that is the end. Oh, here we go. No, it isn't. No, Brini. She said her parents were stuck at, leaving her stuck at school. Her parents are here, but they dance at an awkward arms, awkward arms length from each other. Something must be wrong there. Uh, we don't have sense magic to tell that our aunt is a lumen. Whew. Got that all taken care of. I want to bring down my afraid. <laughs> we'll do that. We're still willful. And we're going to do skills and ciphering. And I do think the goal is to get four intelligence up because you need it pretty high to uh, I think, oh, to unlock that, um, the Sanji King used to be the Queen's Minstrel, and that singing might actually, um, affect him. So, you practice reading words whose letters have been arranged in reverse order, the simplest of transpositions. You practice shifting substitution ciphers, and you practice random substitu substitution ciphers. My lady, a bouquet has arrived for you. The flowers are unusual, long spikes of red, thick with nectar and emitting a strong fragrance. Nothing like the delicate blossoms in most vases. Uh, don't have enough court manners? We've got a lot of court manners. Oh, well. Who sent them? The Duchess of Hellas, I believe. So we are going to accept them. Put them on display. I think they look nice. You wander downstairs to visit your father. And here is his companion, Siren, the Countess of Miranda. Oh, let's see. She has your father's arm in her grasp. You have no composure. Uh, so we will shame her with silent scorn because we certainly have the presence to do so. Her color, color pales and she releases her grip on your father's arm, mumbling an apology before hurrying out of the room. You have defeated her. <laughs> Don't give me that look, young lady. She's a nice woman, nothing more. So now is our option to... Oh, there haven't been any problems so far. No one has been able to track the former Duchess of Ursula. There could be plots underway. We have the intrigue to say that we need agents. And what did I ask for? Oh, Juliana of Ursula. Uh, so hold on, I'm going to pause and take a sip of water. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. So we're going to say that Juli Juliana, Duchess of Ursula. We need to locate Juliana. A rogue lumen is a danger to the entire domain. Without more clues of where to search, your agents are apparently unable to locate her. You could detail a portion of your army to patrol for signs of her, but that would take them from their other duties. If you offered a reward for her capture, the people of Nova would also aid in the search. However, she was in prison once before, and that did not contain her. Um... Oh, this is so frustrating, because I swear to you, if we had the... It's not in my notes, but I've done this before. We've done this in one of the last phase. I don't remember which one. I'd have to check. But uh, 
on one of them, if you have enough, is it internal affairs? He points out that Bryn, that, 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 that Juliana used to stay with Bryn and Banyan. So, mm, let us, Mm, this is the anti-lumen one, so it it hurts my ethics, but I I my notes have me picking. She has to die, so I'm gonna grit my teeth and select it. She's too dangerous to hold. She has to be killed and killed quickly before she has a chance to use her magic. Um, and we're gonna post a reward, even though I, I I'm I'm pretty sure this doesn't work oh wait all right we can post your description and offer a reward oh we don't have the decoration ah that's not right oh 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 back up back up can i back up they've they've changed how far you can back up gosh darn it i that was why i had put on i actually put on the tea dress or the yeah the decoration one so this is, I'm, I'm backing up to week 18, studying ciphering again. Oh, <laughs> let's try this one more time. I'm backing up to week 18 and putting on the tea dress that boosts decoration. No, it's um, expression. Toga. Which gives me a decoration of 100. Good grief, I need decoration of 100 to paint or picture? Okay. Um, you'd think I would have people for that. So, ciphering, and we're going to go through all this again. A bouquet has arrived. We'll accept them. Uh, <laughs> Siren, I'm so sorry. Shame her with silent scorn. Juliana. She has to die. Post a reward. We'll post her description, offer a reward. Decoration. I can paint a picture of her to be sure everyone recognizes her. Which, wow, I just, I need, <laughs> sometimes the skill checks seem a little random. I need 100 decoration. Not 90, not 95, 100 <laughs> to be able to paint a picture of the Duchess of Ursula. <laughs> um, okay, good, good. We're back on track. We're gonna have, I'm gonna, I have us sitting in court, which will give us yielding and depression and pressured. Okay. I think we'll still be willful. We are still willful. Um, I have us studying... Oh, I bet so we can go to the party. I have a studying reflexes and archery. Your teacher walks around you, prodding a finger at you, and you learn how to twist and wax bowstring from a variety of fibers. It's the time of year to decide any necessary adjustments. I always used to pick leave them the same, and we can't do that anymore because we've changed it to make the accounting um, check or skill actually <laughs> useful, meaningful, necessary. <coughs> I'm going to lower taxes. Your father consults with the minister. Apparently your earlier efforts have exhausted the available funds. There is not enough surplus to give back. Hey, <laughs> so we're going to keep it the same. That's not fair. I wanted to lower taxes. <laughs> well, that just... Did I want the pressure, though? <laughs> they raise taxes. As you wish. All right. At least our mood should be still on track with what... Uh, attend court. 
now we feel pressured, which gives a bonus to athletics, which would be interesting, except we aren't using athletics, we're using agility and weapons. Um, reflex is an archery again. You practice with a jump rope. You learn to cut fletch and tie arrows. You requested the standard judgment. Um, this is the, the lumen guy. Although we don't know that he's a Lumen because we don't have sense magic. So I'm going to imprison him. Whether they were demons or not, you still killed a woman. I won't forgive you for that and you will be imprisoned for the rest of his, your life. So, now we are going to... I don't like being pressured. I... Uh, don't want pressured anymore because that's our current mood. Um, what are the options? Lonely will get us less pressured. This lonely will get us less pressured. Okay, we're gonna play with toys. That'll get us a yielding, a lonely, and a cheerful. My mood's still all screwed up from my notes, so I apologize for that. Um, we're going to continue reflexes and archery. This is so we, I'm pretty sure, so we can go to um, Gwinnell's party. You practice solo tennis. We can all play sports on the weekend. You learn about different sizes and styles and sizes of bows. And we have an angry bonus, which is nice. You receive word that the murderer you condemned to prison has escaped. A large explosion rocked the jail he was in, destroying the walls and setting many dangerous criminals free. It will now fall to the royal treasury to repair the damage, so I guess it's a good thing we raise taxes. A report comes in from Mazomba, where an enterprising young archer managed to get the drop on the former Duchess of Ursul. Even a lumen can't stop an arrow if she doesn't see it coming. Oh, so wow, we... Wow. I forgot about that. The body was delivered to the palace for verification and the reward money paid out. Juliana's threat is ended and you can sleep a bit easier now. Wow. That's, that's, I'm just, I'm envisioning the going to, to see the body and, and confirm this and that's, that's really depressing. Um, <laughs> <coughs> excuse me. I didn't like Juliana, but I didn't want that for her. Uh, um, let's see. We could use a lonely and a willful. Let's... I have us going to the Castle Grove, which isn't available anymore. Um, let's do lonely cheerful. That'll leave us cheerful, which doesn't... Oh, it actually does help. Oh, it penalizes weapons. Well, great. Um, fine, fine. Uh, we're going to say reflexes and archery again. I really do think, because this is, like I said, this is notes that I did a year ago. There is a better way to do this. So uh, if somebody wants to post, like, a, <laughs> a better min-max path, <laughs> then that would be awesome, too. But I am trying to basically bump reflexes and archery up against the 50 mark. So... Off we go. Which is where you stop learning it. And... So they're both in the 40s. That's annoying. I regret to inform you that Fabian, the Earl of Titan and Duke Regent of Alath has passed away. So what do we do with young Lord Adair? So we're going to say, hmm. We don't want the boy as our husband. We're going to, um, we're going to marry or hook up with Bryn. I have that we send him to our uncle, which I think is probably, if he goes to his grandfather, I think he gets killed and Aris is, is happy, but uh, 
she's not she's not gonna be happy if we send him away. In my notes we send him to our uncle, so that's what we're gonna do. Send him to your uncle. And I'm gonna pause again real quick. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. What about your brother Amand? He would be a safe pair of hands to watch over watch over a dare, as you wish. So we're gonna say, um, Yielding to press pressured, sitting in on court sessions. Now I have I have completely diverged from my notes here. I did have I got reflexes and archery to fifty in this walkthrough, and since I I actually maxed out archery in the last one, um, but not this time around because I'd gotten as cheerful. I, I had an extra one, a free one, to study lore. And I'm kind of frustrated because I should have tested this all out or just given up the domain. But I didn't want to give up uh, that piece of Marie. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take the... I'm going to take the mulligan on not being able to get lore up yet. And we will try to fix that as soon as we reasonably can. So I'm going to say we'll do another round of reflexes and archery to get them both to 50. It should get them to 50. You practice tennis and... Wow. We are too yielding to focus properly on this subject right now. That's not good. Well, then we won't do archery. So we're going to say reflexes and lore, which is what I had in my notes. But archery isn't 50. And I'm going to have to either fix that or hope that we can pass the upcoming archery check with just a 40. And I honestly don't remember if it calls for a 40 or a 50. Um, what week are we on? We're on week 23. Let me double check really quick. This is what happens when I deviate from my notes. So, uh, do, do, do. 26 is the party or 27? Ah, here we go. So you need... Archery plus reflexes to equal 100, so I will need it up to 50. So, what I'm going to need is... This is great, I'm researching as we play do the playthrough. Um, hmm. And yielding is helped by lore. So we're actually going to back up. I am so sorry. So when we said lower taxes, that also had a mood impact. And that was pressured. So we raised taxes anyway. Which would have given us a willful pressured. And eventually we'll get down yielding to, to, to do lore. So... An angry help, so why don't I just, let me see here. If I could get angry up and willful down, that would be awesome. But I don't know if we have that option. Nope, we can get angry up and willful up. And we can get... Hmm, <laughs> We're at two on Willful, so if I take a Cheerful Lonely, oh, but that gives you, here we go, Cheerful Lonely, that should keep us Willful. So for week 20, we'd already done a Reflexes and Archery, and we need to get those up to 50. So we're going to do a Reflexes and Archery again. To get us to 20. You're requested to stand in judgment. We've already done this. 
and we're gonna say imprison him which made us angry which was fine by me uh, I'd like to take a depressed yielding lonely there's only a cheerful yielding lonely Two yielding, one depressed, one pressured, which would make us pressured. <laughs> Usually, I sort this stuff out before I start doing a playthrough, and I'm going to apologize yet again for working this out. I'm going to do court sessions, which should leave us pressured, which doesn't hurt us on the physical stuff. So we're going to take reflexes archery again. We get a minus one afraid for Juliana being killed. And our so we're even across the line, except we're pressured, and we don't we don't want that. Eventually, we're gonna want yielding for the lore. I kind of want the angry. Let's play sports. Still pressured. So we're going to take reflexes and archery. Elath has passed away. We'll send him to our uncle. Our mood is pressured and angry, and we need to bring that down so we can be yielding for the lore in a few minutes. We don't want lonely. Or we do want lonely, we don't necessarily want cheerful. Yeah, we'll take a play with toys. That should have us be angry. Which we should have been angry last time around. That would have helped with weapons. Now it's not going to help us much. But oh well. We can at least get them. So that gets us our 50. So now we can go to Gwynnell's birthday party. Practice tennis. And there's our archery. There's a woman here to see you. She's a musician. She has a face now. Your Royal Highness, if you accept me as a member of your court, I will immortalize you in word and song. We have intrigue. Musicians are often used as secret agents. The musician sings a little ditty to demonstrate her skills with the lute. Instrument voice success. It's okay, but nothing special. That might mean she has other talents. So we're going to say test for secret skills. You are familiar with the traditions of many locations, yes? Can you also perform accents? Aye, Mum, that I can. What about juggling? I keep a set of dangers in the air. Interesting. I look forward to all you have to tell me. We'll have to talk privately to see how much she knows, but I think she might be useful. So, we are mostly back on track, except slightly not, but we should be fine. Um... Our mood is, and we want it to be yielding. So we're going to go to court. Oh, that's interesting. Oh man, 
I don't remember seeing that before, and I kind of want to see it now. Did I save the game, y'all? <laughs> this is just... <laughs> <laughs> this is just let's just play stuff at random. <laughs> Screw notes. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! This is the new content, Savine. I saw the, the 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 talk to, and I was thinking that meant um, what's her name? The priest, priestess. But no, this is Savine, the the musician. Your Highness, thank you again for the opportunity. Yes, yes. Now, what have you heard on your travels? What are the people saying about me? I haven't yet had the chance to play at many noble courts, although I intend to. Just 21. You have the support of the common people, but not their love. Not yet. Of course, with me at your side, your popularity can only increase. Never underestimate the power of music, you guys. That's, that's true. That's foreshadowing. Um, that didn't actually change our mood, though. And I kind of wanted to. So... Maybe we could go visit her another time. I'm gonna backtrack. We're gonna go the yielding depressed pressure fruit, and that should make us yielding. Um, so our mood is yielding. Our mood is very yielding, and that gives us a plus to lore and meditation and divin divination, which is what I wanted. So. I'm going to study meditation in the morning you practice assuming a sitting position you close your eyes and relax every muscle of your body you take slow deep breaths you receive a letter from young lord adair so far he's enjoying himself with your uncle and Armand and Mazomba. He says the trees look different and there are a lot more frogs. He looks forward to visiting the lookout fort at Shepherd's Point. Uh, I would like to do something about this pressure that's hanging over my head. I have us visiting the dungeons. But those were in old notes that we've long deviated from now. Oh, and you can't visit Sabine anymore, so that was like your only chance. That... Man, that makes me sad, guys. Okay. We took a yielding. Which I didn't want to take a yielding. Why did I do that? No, I thought that was... Never mind. Psh, forget that. Uh, we're going to do a lonely and cheerful. Yes. I would rather us be middle of the road so I can just dip over whenever I need to. Um, we're still doing the, 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 the mystical faithy stuff. So now we're going to take divination. Uh, you learn that the gods cannot be forced to divulge information. Dropping your favorite plate is bad luck. You read about well-known signs of bad fortune. Uh, you notice a strange flash of light, which we didn't have enough divination to actually do anything about, so whatever. Um, is there a depressed and lonely one? There is, but it's court, which makes us super yielding. Let's say... Let's say attend service. And we're going to study lore in its time. Only a lumen can channel magic. The kings and queen of Noma have all been lumens. You unlocked a new outfit. My lady, there is a letter for you. Who sent this? It isn't signed. It appears to be a poem describing you in a manner that is entirely inappropriate for queen. Um... That's terrible. We're not going to go out there. We have no climbing. Perhaps if it was lucky, it'll rain and wash the words away. Uh, we need to bring our anger down. So let's take in Afraid and Lonely. Wander through parts of the castle where other people rarely visit. 
We have a new outfit, which I'll just put on for... Here's our priestess robe. God, I bet priestess classes are really awkward now that we've killed the priestess's girlfriend. Um, I took... Divination and lore. Which I'm going to take again. You read about science that oppresses famous disasters. You're reading about King Latimer. Legend has it the long ago horde of Yavani. Legend says the island domain of Malini. <laughs> Lots of legends. My lady, there are letters for you. Another one from Brienne. Gwinnell's about to turn 15. Here's her birthday party invitation. And we're going to go to Sudbury. It'll be good to see my friends. Let's get some willful under our willful and lonely. So now we're cheerful. It, we have literally, utterly, completely deviated from my notes now. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, let me see here. I know we are going to need... We're gonna need foreign intelligence 90 to realize that the Sanjia King is a minstrel. We're going to need instrument and voice of 100 to sing to him, which we have. And then we need public speaking over 70 for him to be impressed enough to actually do anything different. So basically, all we really need to do left is to get foreign intelligence up. I have us, and mind you, this was a really scatter shot. Like, this was when I did last year, possibly when I still had misconceptions about what I needed in order to get these endings. I had us studying naval strategy and strategy this week, which we can't do because we're at minus two because I've completely mucked up our emotions. But also, I don't know that it actually helps us because I'm not planning to win the war with naval strategy or strategy. Now, there's no point in me doing more foreign intelligence right now because we don't have the willful to get to have that help be at a decent bonus. Um, I could continue doing faith, which is at a bonus. We could continue doing royal demeanory stuff, which isn't going to help us, but it would at least be consistent with the image. Which, you know what? I'm going to go with... Um, I'm going to throw down another divination. I don't think it helps at all, but just because at this point I know the ending I need. I think I know the ending I need. <laughs> <laughs> and so I think we can get there with what we have. So this is just kind of, this is extra. Ooh, I should have trained in trade for the poison. Because I have the, ooh, 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 what does trade take? I wanted to see that. Mm, we have no economics bonus. Well, let's throw down divination. Animal omens, the flights of birds, signs which sometimes appear in leaves. You study the interpretation of dreams. On your journey to Sudbury, your carriage, carriage is attacked by bandits. There's our 100 on archery and reflexes. You hear the distinctive sound of incoming arrows just in time to push yourself away from the window and avoid being shot. From the screams outside, not all of your guards have been as lucky. The attackers scatter. The rest of your trip passes without incident. Gwinnell's party is lovely. Not nearly as glamorous as your own upcoming birthday will be. 
We've been here before. The Countess of Dis and the Duchess of Sudbury are having an argument. I posted that I sided with... Oh, we didn't have the flattery. I guess we could have done that. I posted that I sided with the mother, but I think that gives us a yielding, and I don't want a yielding. It does. So what we're going to do is we're going to side with Gwinnell. You heard her? She's an adult now, and she's in charge now. Uh, a bit later, Brini catches up with you. Think of the opportunities you're going to have. You're so lucky. Have they told you all the secrets? You mean the old capital by Cathery Lake? The abandoned one? Exactly. They had to leave in a hurry. So we're going to offer to help and bring her to the castle. But we're not actually going to go. We did that in the last one. <laughs> Woo! So that was a lot of emotions. Oh, I know. Okay, so this was one where I wanted to hold Brienne hostage. And we've actually already done that. So if you've been following my what my Let's Plays, um, you've already seen Brienne be taken hostage. She's so blasé about it. And you've also seen um, that we get a Steam achievement for that. So that is why. Because I knew that moving the little Earl away from a reese would make a reese unhappy and also uh giving up banyan and Bryn's land made them unhappy so uh you had this you know noble revolt and uh we held Brienne hostage and so okay that's that's a that's an option but we've already done that once so um no need to necessarily do that again it'll be interesting if there's no hmm Did I save? Yes, I did. If there's no noble revolt, then we may get the conversation option to ask Brienne what's really wrong. Um, I don't really want to give up my willful. Hmm. There needs to be a don't change anything option. Just saying. So I'm going to save here. Because I really would like to do the thing where we talk Brienne out of it. But I don't know if we have the... We ought to have. It's one of these skills. Okay, we'll see. In the meantime, we have Willful so we can start building up foreign intelligence. Which we, we need because that we, that's actually required for the... We need 90 in order to uh, get past the Duke of, or the King of Sanjia. The political disruption in Tombula... Since the recent revolution, the Tombulans. Pirates are once again operating out of Orcus. I found a bunch of maps of the area around Cathery Lake. Great! I also found reports on all sorts of really nasty monsters down there. I love that line. I'm not stupid. We are educated noble women. <laughs> Our parents are going to be so impressed. Aha! Conversation. Is that really what this is about? Brienne's parents? Brienne, what is going on with you and your family? Nothing. Really nothing. Ever since my Uncle Kevin moved in, my parents don't want anything to do with me. I'm an adult now, you know. Technically, she's 16. And they still say I have to be at school all the time. I'm the heir. I should be spending time in Mead. Oh, wow. Juliana's been updated as deceased. When did your uncle move in? I don't know, a few years ago, after Grand's divorce. I don't have the intro. Ah, there's so much history here, but you can never get it in one. The Duchess of Lilla divorced her second husband and then he died. He would have been the stepfather of Brienne's mother and uncle. That must have been a stressful time for your family. Yeah, I'm sure, but so what? That was years ago. They've had plenty of time to get over it. I just want them to pay attention to me. If I find the lost treasures of Nova, they'll have to notice. 
You've already run away from school. If they don't notice that, they won't notice anything. You mean it's hopeless? No, I mean all you have to do is stay here and wait. Getting into more trouble won't make a difference. Oh, I guess maybe you're right. Thanks, Elodie. You're smarter than I remembered. <laughs> okay, let's bring our angry down so that we can keep being willful. <laughs> and we have our... We have a cat suit, which is awesome, but I'm going to put back in the priestess room because eventually there's divination on the chocolates and then we'll throw into, I guess, expression for, <laughs> you're smarter than I remembered. <laughs> oh, okay, so classes, we're going to take foreign intelligence again. Agents who have visited Borealis. Rumor has it that the mother and older sister of the last justice of Elath. Rumor has it the Prince of Terex. The Queen of Sanjia, that's the one we needed, 90, is wedded to a non-noble, a court musician whom she initially took as a consort, barring any offspring from inheriting the throne. She has since passed new laws to give not only their children, but also the man himself an equal claim to the throne. Rumor has it that the king, quote unquote, of Sandia, has become the true power behind the throne, and that he, he may also have the true the powers of a lumen. He is a controversial figure within the domain, but ministers who speak against him have been known to disappear. The Duchess of Mead is here to see you, my lady. Elodie, where is my daughter? Before his death, Hyacinth was scandalously involved with Pelus, the old Duke of Bristol, Ignatius' father. Whew! Which daughter? <laughs> you know very well that I have only one. Really, mother? Because sometimes I think you don't have one at all. Brienne, thank goodness you're all right. Oh, now you care. You certainly didn't want to see me before. You haven't let me come home in ages. Brienne, darling, there are things you don't understand. I don't understand because you never tell me anything. The Duchess sighs and embraces her daughter. Very well, if that's what it will take. Come home with me and I will explain everything. It <laughs> looks like everything worked out for the best. Uh, kind of. The, I think the communication back home is not fun. So, okay, we can... You know what? I'm going to go for the... We'll do the angry and learn um, military strategy. I don't really think we're gonna use it but eh, why not so we'll say uh, classes I'm gonna say military and we'll say logistics and logistics it's good stuff to have not probably really because I don't think we're gonna have a check on it but an omen of war and danger there are no signs where the danger might be coming from you receive a letter from Brienne hinting at some of the complicated family drama that has been going on. Her parents are getting divorced now that her father has a duchy of his own. There's an extra section at the end of the letter written in code. Ciphering. Her uncle and his stepfather? Her uncle and her mother? No wonder she was trying to hide it. Well, I hope she'll be happier now. <laughs> so, so I think that was probably an awkward conversation. Um, let's see. Can we get a... Yielding. There's a yielding, lonely, cheerful, but I don't want that. I'd like to stay angry. I may just have to keep playing sports. Thrill of competition! Skills, uh, let's say classes, strategy this time. And like I said, I think this is all for naught because I don't plan to go into physical battle. Let's say status and praise. Oh, I meant to do employment. There we go. The winners will have the option of taking up royal appointments. It's a recruitment drive. Uh, the leaves on one of the blossoms says shriveled divination, a leaf killed by secret weakness, a hidden threat. My lady, a gift has arrived from Kegal. Chocolates. There's something suspicious about this. 
So we're going to say test it for poison. I really like that that's an option as opposed to not leaving it lying around. You mash the candies into an unappetizing paste and bury the oh, bury the box in the palace garden. It's a waste that they weren't really poisoned. My candy. I I really do. I appreciate that they made more options for how to deal with those because it was so but thou much that I mean like if your dog if your dog skill was high enough then you'd set them aside or whatever but but otherwise you'd just numb them down and, and it was like but if you suspect something weird you should be able to, to test them or, or or get rid of them or something oh anyway um I'm looking at my notes really quickly. I don't really think there's any value in continuing with the military stuff because I'm really, I'm not going along onto the, the boat battle. This is a pink angel run through. So um, let's do some more intrigue stuff. Why not? Uh, and we're going to change our outfit to... Classes, internal affairs, and internal affairs. Okay. The week of the general tournament. The people will be pleased if you participate in the game. So we're going to say voice, obviously, music. Oh. <laughs> Your performance is well received, but you are overshadowed by those whose talents are more in line with the expected style. So I guess we could have been training an instrument. Um, let's go ahead and attend service. I'm going to take another internal affairs and take a... Presence. Okay. After years of marriage and three children, the Duchess of Lilith divorced her second husband, refused to say why. Shortly afterwards, he was found dead in a nearby forest. So this is all like the rumors that you would need in order to. Oh, look at that! So close. Okay. My lady, your father wishes to speak with you. Fine, I'm coming. Ships have been sighted. This is a war fleet. Within a week, they will be in Novum Waters. We'll fight to defend ourselves. Let's... <sighs> Don't. It's too late for that. It'll just be a waste of money. You need to draw up a naval strategy. We'll stay in the capital. Do your best and Nova will survive. And I'm going to take... Hmm. I'm gonna go to court and get the willful down. So we're still angry. Um, let's go ahead and train. So it actually looks like I did in my notes go to battle and the reason I didn't need swimming was because our ship our the grasp of strategy allows you to recognize when the tipping point has passed and order your remaining vessels to retreat before they're all destroyed so I did actually go to battle on in that playthrough but I am not on this time I may end up posting like my old <laughs> my old notes and the actual ones that we did <laughs> since I keep referring to the playthrough that this isn't uh, let's see we're gonna say classes um... let's 
let's take composure and elegance. Wait, are we still? Mm, penalty because we're angry. So we'll say um, court manners. Danger in the high seas. The Sanjians have half again as many troops as you do. The eventual outcome is not in your favor. The Sanjian fleet will soon land and their troops will progress. Okay. As expected. We are now depressed, not surprisingly. And I'm going to take, we don't need it, but we're gonna take instrument just to have it. Because we have a bonus of depression anyway, so might as well take it. The invasion of Nova is proceeding. A diplomatic delegation from Sanji has requested access to the castle to discuss terms, most likely for your surrender. You prepare yourself as best you can to meet with the representatives. You expected diplomats and a military representative, a general or an admiral. You did not expect the handsome man decked in jewels who now stands before you, a man announced by your servants as Togami, King of Sanjia. King Sanjia? King consort he should be, if even that much. He's a common musician who married his way onto the throne. My dear young lady, how difficult this must be for you. So much responsibility at such a tender age. You yearn to slap the false sympathy off his oily face, but you force yourself to remain calm. War benefits no one, don't you think? Such a terrible waste. Better to settle things in a civilized manner. A contest, a game, so to speak, with Nova as the stakes. Should I win, then your domain will submit and accept me as overlord with no further resistance. Should I lose, then my army will leave your domain in peace and shed no more blood. So he wants a Lumen duel. I'm not a Lumen. Saving it for the coronation, were you? Such a pity that you'll be unprepared. Go and find your crystal and we can have the duel. What's the point? You know I can't win. Why don't you just kill me now? He says, I want to fight a Lumen. So. <laughs> I don't like this, but what choice do I have? For intelligence. He was a musician once before he married his way into power. Can I use that? Wait, we're civilized people here, and if I might die, I need to compose myself first. You have only one chance for this, one hope to touch the heart of the man beneath the monster. You know so little about him, but he is a father who was once a musician. Music may reach him where nothing else can, and so you begin your favorite song. You were afraid he would be impatient and order you to stop, but it seems that at least for a moment he is listening. Pretty, what is it? Something my mother used to sing to me. She was the queen. She was always so busy, but she loved me. When she had time to be with me, to hold me, to play and sing, I miss those moments. <laughs> Are you crying? How pathetic. Don't you sing to your children? If we fight, if I defeat you somehow, then your children will miss those songs. And what happens if I lose? When you've killed me and taken my crystal, what do you do then? You came from nothing and made yourself a king, but that wasn't enough for you. So you pushed the boundaries, you conquered territory, you came after Nova. After me, do you go home to your children? Or do you go after another crystal, another domain? You have the world. If you're not happy, what's the point? From the shocked murmurs on the part of the Shanzian delegation, you can guess that no one has dared to talk to the king like this in a long, long time. You hold your ground, meeting his eyes with your own, willing him to listen to you. It doesn't have to be like this. You and I, we could be friends. We could learn from each other. We could be part of something greater than ourselves, a new peace, and you can sing to your children. I have not sung in a very long time, I'll teach you my songs. You hold out your hands to him, open and empty. We can do this together. 
At last he sighs and places his hands in yours. And just like that, the war is over. And that always gets me every single time. Every single time. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So I accidentally lied at the beginning of this because I said we were going to kill... Um, execute Charlotte's mother. And since we didn't have a way to test for poison... Ah, I'm frustrated with myself. I shouldn't have deviated so much from my notes. Uh, if we had... someone die from poison then okay hold hold on let me check something okay this one is not going to get the ending that I wanted and so I can either <laughs> scrap like two hours of let's play or keep going through and then do one properly with my notes the or <laughs> how, how about this even taking the new content into account just do that properly so uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna finish this one out because I don't want to waste all this footage um, just because I don't <laughs> want to waste all this footage but with the understanding that a lot of my notes are out of date and this honestly is partly just because the poisoning plotline has been changed so much and I'm actually in favor of the poisoning plotline being changed so that there's more things that you can do. But, so what had happened was in my previous Let's Play was um, I had hired the spy and then when somebody died from the poison chocolates, which always happened, even if you didn't eat them, if you set them aside, somebody would die. So then I sent my spy to check it out and she comes back and says, uh, you know, oh, I, I believe it was from Lucille. And so then in the end game, you were able to, to make decisions about that. And uh, that has changed. And <laughs> I unknowingly at the time screwed up because I was like, hey, I don't have to have anyone die. That's wonderful. But forgot that that was what leads to um, Lucille being outed. Well, one way to out her is a lumen. So we're going to finish this out. But with the understanding that my notes are basically out of date. So we're going to kind of take a mulligan on this one. But we should still end up, up with Bryn. The Sanjians have retreated to their own territory and the mood throughout Nova is one of cautious optimism. It is not easy to replace the lives lost and the damage done, but it is a relief to believe that it's over and nothing worse is coming. Everyone loves you. Oh, oh, ha, <laughs> maybe I panicked for no reason. I have a great deal of news to report. Everything we suspected was true and worse. Everything we suspected? Did, did I, is this a, is this like code that's hanging around that if you if you triggered a flag for hiring the spy and you trigger a flag for living through the poison chocolates, then it assumes that you talked to the spy about the chocolates because nobody had a way to test. There, nobody knew poison chocolates happened because you just ground them up and buried them. I'm wondering if this isn't a code bug that, because this is what happened, if you if you if you hired the spy, and kept going and didn't die from the chocolates, then somebody died at the tournament from eating the chocolates, and so you went to talk to your spy and told them to please go find out what happened. Now what happened was we hired the spy, and then I screwed up and said. My intrigue was high enough to say, I don't feel right about these chocolates. I said, test them for poison. And there wasn't a way to test it for poison because I didn't have any poison training. So it said LED just mushed them up and buried him in the garden. And that was the, and the end of it. We never talked to our spy about it. So I'm wondering if this isn't something that triggers on a couple of flags that we technically passed, but in ways that maybe don't make sense but we're just gonna head canon that we spoke to her in the meantime everything we suspected was true and worse were you aware that your aunt lucille is a lumen she what i found her journals 
They were in code, of course, but no match for my talents. Your aunt intends to take over Nova and rule as an unstoppable mother-daughter Lumen team. Charlotte is a Lumen? No, your aunt intends to give her your power and your crown. Where are the journals? I want to see them. If I had taken them, she would know her secret was exposed. Proof is a thing that rarely exists, your highness. There is always doubt. If this is true, then she has to be stopped at once, whatever the cost. If it is not true, I would be attacking my own best support, my family. There may be a way to test whether this agent is telling the truth. Ooh, ooh, ah! So we can ask about Charlotte's powers. These journals, did they say anything about what magic Aunt Lucille was trying to train Charlotte in? Well, it sounded like she already has some kind of healing power, but that can't be right. No, it's true. Thank you for your services. Go now. I will deal with this. You will now have to decide what to do about Mervyn's serpent nest. Was Uncle Laurent involved in this, or was it all Lucille? And Charlotte, how much did she know? So, I actually cleared out my old saves while we were... <laughs> uh, I thought I had to give up. Um, I'm going to execute Lucille only. With a heavy heart, you sign the orders. Um... I don't really want to change our mood, so we'll just go to the dungeons. You, you see nothing of interest. Okay. Let's study... I don't know, elegance. <laughs> just finish this out. Boy, this been just chicken with her head cut off over here running around. My notes say, but I'm going to do this instead. But my notes say... <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is probably the most unorganized let's play I've ever done. Time has slipped by so quickly. Have you done enough to build a stable no Nova? Uh, we should be able to pay for an extravagant feast. Excellent. Good, good. All right. I still... I like having an even kelter <laughs> mood going into coronation, so... Uh, let's say composure and elegance and go. We're going to be the most composed, elegant queen ever. The castle is buzzing with preparations. You are happy to coordinate with the designers to ensure you're shown off to the best possible success. Others are more interested in the subject of your marriage. Oh, so... This is the whole point of all this. You have, oh, you have received an interesting proposal from Banyan's sister, Bryn, the Duchess of Hellas. She suggests that if you marry her brother, she might wed, then wed your father, in which case she'd be able to see you more often. Uh, there is Kevin, the Earl of Io. Although he is only an Earl, his family connections can make him politically useful. Considering the family secret Brini shared with you, could he ever be a proper husband? There is Ignatius, whom you appointed Duke of Ursul. Now that he is divorced, the Duchess of Media is once more available for marital alliances. However, Brini would have a complete meltdown at the thought of you marrying her father. So, wow, we've got a bunch of options here. Whew. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna save and say and say no one okay because I want to marry Bryn here um so we're gonna say no one you are in no hurry to get married you have a country to run when we come back I'll do um I'll do Banyan and Ignatius real quick just so you can see those I think we've already seen them before but hey why not um let's play sports uh, we're going to study. It really doesn't matter. I'll say, let's say flattery. Well, it, it actually, it does affect the end screen you get for what Elodie's interests are. But it doesn't matter in terms of will we make it to the end. Okay. Ha! Huh, end screen. Whew. You are 15 years old, a legal adult. Now the time has come. You kneel before the priestess. Will you guide and govern? I will. Will you uphold the ideals of love, honor, justice, and mercy? I will. One by one, the head of each duchy arrives to kneel before you. Long live the queen. Thank you. I will. Okay, so here is our ending screen. After the coronation in a private ceremony with the high priestess, Elodie was officially offered her mother's lumen crystal. She refused to accept it. 
For the first time in centuries, magic would have no hold on the throne of Nova. So this is you walking away from your Lumen Crystal. Your father returned to focus on his duties as Duke of Caloris and didn't remarry. With the danger of a rogue Lumen weighing on their minds, the squad sent to deal with Lucille, Countess of Nyx, opted to strike quickly and without warning, aiming to eliminate her before she could bring her powers to bear, kill on sight. Infiltrating the ducal stronghold to remove one noble while leaving others unharmed is not a simple task, particularly when the easiest time to catch people off their guard is when they are at family meals or asleep. While Lucille's traumatic death did produce a Lumen Crystal to justify Elodie's actions, it is unlikely that her relationship with her uncle and cousins would ever fully recover. During Elodie's reign, the public opinion of Lumens and magic in general would fall to a new low. Parents taught their children that Lumen power was all tied up with witchcraft and blood sacrifice and would always lead to sorrow in the end. In some territories, any village outcast found to be in position, a possession of a shiny bit of rock was likely to fall victim to a lynch mob, and miscreants were rarely punished. Even healers and priestesses were eyed with some suspicion. Who knows what cause their powers might have? So that's, that's a bad ending. The young queen sponsored expeditions of trained knights to venture into the old forest and attempt to exterminate the monsters within. Unfortunately, black magic would not give up its grip on, on Nova so easily. Many lives were lost, and with their blood, the monsters appeared to grow even stronger. So all that's bad. I wonder if that's because we had such high lore. After the halt of the Sanjian invasion, relations across the Western Sea remained calm and trade flourished. Sanjian's expansionist phase seemed to come to a halt. I'm going to cry again. Sometime later, a special straight trade ship from Sandia arrived with a tribute for Queen Elodie. There was a beautiful harpsichord inlaid with ivory and pearl and golden roses, as well as two paintings clearly made by children depicting a pink-haired angel. And that really is my favorite screen. Um. Oh, neighbor to the north, Tombula. Uh, had not been cordial, cordial for many years, as the revolutionary Tomulans did not approve of hereditary rule, the two domains had managed to exist in a peaceful stalemate. After Elodie came to the throne, the pretense of peace cracked and crumbled, the Tomulans invaded the Duchy of Ursul, and Nova was forced to surrender the northernmost country in order to maintain a stronger defensive line. I wonder if that's because we lost Juliana, like maybe Ignatius is a crappy, well, and who knows, he may not be Lumen. I don't think he is. Um, though she received many proposals, here's the one we came for. Queen Elodie appeared to have little interest in marriage. When she was not occupied with running the country, she spent much of her time with her companion, Bryn, the Duchess of Hellas. Despite her lack of husband, Queen Elodie did produce an heir to the throne. A daughter. The child was acknowledged. The father never was. Uh, sorry, I accidentally clicked. Elodie was her mother's daughter, possessed of royal grace and solemnity, even as a young woman. That quiet power would only deepen over the years, and thus Queen Elodie's legacy stretched into the future. So, <laughs> I think that's really awesome. I like that. I, I do like that the developers did such a good job, in my opinion, of um, how to say, creating a world that feels kind of like ours but is very very different you know so anytime you play some kind of not anytime but a lot of times when you play some kind of you know fantasy historical setting there's all this well you know you can't have lesbians because that's not realistic or you can't have you know openly gay people because and people not you know kill them because that's not realistic and despite the fact that to a certain extent uh, historically that's not necessarily true uh, there have always been exceptions to those rules, um, and history is way more complicated than people like to make it out to believe, but, 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 but beyond all that, why? Why do we have to bring all those rules over? This, this setting doesn't have a, you know, a Catholic church, so it would be fundamentally different from any history that we know, you know, so I really like that this game took a strong, a queen who had a good command of her of her people and her and her country and said you know what she could have a child out of wedlock acknowledge it never acknowledge the father and the world wouldn't end and okay yes that that 
to the best of my knowledge, which I'm not a historian, I don't know of that ever happening in, like, the Western European history that this is kind of, you know, duchess and duchies and dukes and, 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 and earls. But it doesn't need to. It can be totally different. And I think that's awesome. So this was the Bryn ending where we had a child, a daughter, an acknowledged daughter, heir to the throne, and Elodie didn't marry anyone, which is a little bit different from the Brienne ending where she did marry someone. And in the Bryn one, she never even said who the father of the child was. So I think that's cool. I'm going to pause this. I'm going to load up the other endings for Banyan and Ignatius. I don't think they're as good as this one, but we'll have at least seen them. So hold on one second. Okay, so who do we want to see first? Do we want to see Banyan first? We'll do Banyan. There's no time to pursue that thought in the future. Or at the moment, but perhaps in the future. So we did a... Um... I'm going to take some more lore. I want to see if that changes the old forest sending... Um... Um, nights in. Okay. I can't remember what the button is to make the, the text go faster. There used to be like a auto speed through. <laughs> Does this change? Ooh, ooh, age 15. I really like how much they've uh how much thought they've put into little pieces like this, like updating her age on her birthday. Because she is 15 now. Okay, so we didn't take the crystal. Once his daughter was secure on the throne, Jocelyn returned to his birthplace to focus on the duties as Duke of Caloris. He soon became engaged to Bryn, the Duchess of Hellas. This was assassinating Lucille. Here is the bad Lumen ending. Okay, and we did still send people into the old forest despite our high lore this time. Here's our pink angel. We still lost the Duchy of Rasul. Elodie proposed marriage to Banyan, the Duke of Marie, and was accepted. They were attended at their wedding by Elodie's father Joslyn and Banyan's sister Bryn, who were themselves recently wed. Whew, this is going to get complicated. The complicated, yeah, I just said so. The complicated family entanglements continued through the years. Bryn and Elodie developed a close friendship and were more often seen with each other than with their respective husbands. And their children considered themselves more siblings than cousins, which meant that the future Duke of Caloris would be Elodie's half-brother, nephew and pseudo stepson all at the same time so that's kind of <laughs> fan pickers go that's your prompt <laughs> um Elodie was her mother's daughter etc and so forth and then one more we're gonna do a load on ignatius which is completely different and he's just available because he is divorced now uh, <laughs> well, let's see. Lore didn't change it. I'm going to take some ciphering classes. Because sometimes things get better with, um... Lottie, once you show her her mother's journals. Which doesn't make sense because we already found her mother's journals because we have the spies, so I'm, I'm not sure. Um, this is the problem. I mean, this is such an intricate game. I'm sure it's a nightmare to try to update without breaking all the paths. So I'm impressed that there isn't more untuitive. Okay, so 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 dad stays, stays unmarried. Lucille gets killed. Okay, and there wasn't anything about her journals from the ciphering. Um... We still lose her soul, despite marrying the guy who's in charge of her soul. Elodie proposed marriage to Ignatius, Duke of Ursul, who was not pleased to be approached by a girl younger than his own daughter. Ew. Well, I'm the queen. While he would not openly, ex while he would not accept her suit, neither could he bring himself to openly refuse. After all she had done for him, they entered into a state of romantic ceasefire, in which he would agree to spend time with her as long as she made no inappropriate advances. 
Ignatius expected Elodie's interest to flicker and fade. She was, after all, young, and he had withstood years of disappointment and betrayal before. First from his father, when he was passed over in favor of Juliana, then from his wife, who had grown all too close to her unstable sibling. Even his children abandoned him, preferring the court of me where they had been raised. Oh, that's kind of sad. I never really thought of Ignatius as a sad fig tragic figure because... He seems so sort of oily with his whole, please may I have my sister's dukedom, but... Oh man, just think about his his parent, his father not liking him. And then his wife cheating on him with her brother. That would be kind of sad making. Why would a beautiful young queen choose him? None but she could say. However, a woman who could melt even the black heart of the king of Sangia was not so easy to resist. After the wedding, Brienne made gagging noises every time she encountered either one of them. <laughs> so I'm over here having all my feels about Ignatius being sort of wooby and then more complicated feels about this wedding and then they throw that out with Brienne making ah, ah, noises every time she encounters either one of them. <laughs> I have mixed feelings about that ending. I, I think I would like it more if we'd been allowed to see Ignatius. Ooh, that's what I want for an update. If we're gonna have him as a marriage partner, it would be nice to have been able to like dance with him or talk with him at the gala ball or even at least see him in some fashion other than stealing his sister's title and I'm upset that marrying him didn't mean I kept his province I feel like that should be a thing too but oh well, oh well um so anyway that was oh my gosh that was the most unfocused playthrough I think I've ever done I am so sorry um I promise that, so, okay, so from here on out, any new walkthroughs that I make have all the new content, so I won't have this, this problem of, well, I did this, but that's changed, and I did that, but that's changed, so, so this was the last of all my old notes from before, um, so now, moving forward, any new ones I do should have all the new content, and we shouldn't have these mistakes, so, uh, that was... God, what all did we do? We we had the Pink Angel ending, of course, which you've probably already seen if you've been following the Let's Playthroughs. Uh, we, we ended up with Bryn in two different capacities. It's kind of tickling to me that there's so many different ways to end up with Bryn. There's the, there's the just straight up with Bryn where you never marry at all, but you have a daughter anyway. There's the one where you marry Bryn and Banyan and the three of you are happy together, which I kind of like that one best just because I know it's kind of their siblings, so that part's kind of weird, but I just, you get so few things with like a happy threesome relationship that I, it's easy for me to overlook the sibling part and I shouldn't, but I, I forget or I do. Uh, but, but I do like the Bryn Banyan uh, threesome relationship just because you get so few of those in, in a lot of entertainment. And then, of course, there's one where you have Bryn marry your father and you marry Banyan, but it's really a sort of like <laughs> false cover up for the fact that you and Bryn are married and the men are just, ah, that one's kind of weird, complicated, but maybe it works for everybody involved i don't know um and then of course we 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 assassinated lucille which i think may have been a bug because i didn't make the right decisions for that to happen but if it is a bug it's a bug i'm happy to have so uh thank you for sticking with me through this playthrough i promise the next one should be a little bit less um unfocused do feel free to like email walkthroughs for me to do if it's like a new steam achievement i've never had before or um like a, a an ending we haven't seen before i will definitely try to do it um and i am probably gonna start throwing up let's plays of like other games but please don't panic that doesn't mean i'm done with with long live the queen it's just 
sometimes I play other stuff. So, <laughs> um, and thank you so much for everybody who subscribed. That just blows my mind how popular this has become. So, um, bless you all. Uh, once again, this is Anna Mardal, and this has been Long Live the Queen. Bye bye. <laughs>